Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 40 of my journey through solo self-found trial of the Ancestors League. And today, I continue on the Black Star grind. So far, I think I've killed 32 of the Black Star, looking for a Polar Devastation Ring for my Body Swap Ignite Necromancer. Maybe today will finally be the day, it's supposedly a 1 in 20 drop, so I just go back to it. Throw in more ley line maps, ping pong in between cemetery and ley line. The master missions are piling up to an absurd degree, as well as the boss maps. I'm getting pretty eager to finish this out. So I might go through and just burn a bunch of maps to spam some of these out because I have been gaining quite a bit of maps as I've been doing this. So that might be more of a possibility at this point. But who knows? I could farm one. And I get it. Or I could go a whole day of farming 8 plus and never see what I'm looking for. Like, that's just the nature of it. And that is why yesterday's video was so short. I just grinded out the Black Star attempts. And that might be all I do today. It's the game. It's RNG. I could get it or not. But since yesterday's video was so short, UFO asked if everything was okay. So I'm going to shed a little bit of light into the process that I'm going through here. So I'm not live streaming, right? I don't record for, say, eight hours and then edit through that and then like make a video from that actually what i'm doing is i play the game i'll talk through any like changes or like new build experiments that i'm doing as i go but with this specific process i am kind of just grinding through maps and reacting to what drops and at the end of that as with every single one of the videos that i've been making for quite a while now i will edit every word that comes out of my mouth together and then listen to that back through and add things as needed like remove things like a cough or a sneeze or bumbling words so i like would re say whatever i was trying to say there's not much that actually gets cut out of the videos like i'm definitely not afraid to show myself dying but that is what you get from me is i'm I'm just trying to like put in a day's worth of play in the game, share what happened as it does, and that becomes the video. So since I'm on this black star grind, there isn't as much new happening, right? There's a lot of things I want to do. I want to go farm Maven. I want to get these boss maps out. I want to make new build, but I'm also like really committed to finishing off this body swap build. I think what I did with that was really cool and unique. So. I want to submit that body swap build for a potential consideration for build of the week because I made it like a staff block necromancer using Utah's hunger for Eldritch Battery Mind Over Matter using body swap for Ignite. I thought that was pretty cool. And Nifty, you used new uniques and it's probably not the best build, but I, I need to at least get all the pieces that are really just kind of perfect for it. So I got to do a black star and get this. Should I finish that, then the next goal is to make the void sphere toe to cheese build. And I've actually been planning, like hopefully I get to do that today. But then this weekend, I'll probably just do a lot of Trial of the Ancestors, just more casually, and then hopefully get that knocked out so next week I can finish that build. Should GGG decide to include that build and build the week, that could like have huge benefits for my YouTube channel. So it's something I feel like I have to try and do at least, even though I'm still committed to doing it in SSF, like I could finish that in like an hour if I were to be in trade league. So that, that's SSF though. I, I gotta just do it and I will. It, it'll happen and there's a constrictor to turn off the delirium. But I don't have like a set time goal or anything that I'm really trying to hit with the video. Like ideally I'm trying to put in like eight hours of playing the game and what comes to that comes to that and that's generally the video sometimes i play for more sometimes i play for less yesterday i played for 10 and a half hours and the video was under 17 minutes but when i was first building the body swap character i only recorded for four hours that day and that video was 35 minutes long there was a lot more to kind of talk through and figure out and experiment with and crafting stuff so it, it really kind of depends I, I can know that 
Oh, I've been talking a lot through what I've recorded today. And that can be enough for me to like, I should stop the video here. Like I have enough to make a decent length video. I don't want to like go over 45 minutes, like if possible for one of these Path of Exile videos. But sometimes that happens too. Like never really know. It's a RNG game and we got two eradicators. But the big point I'm trying to make here, right, is I don't want to go through this video knowing like I'm on this big grind and I need to add time to the video. It's like, oh, some rogue markers dropped. I can, I can fake a bunch of reactions if I wanted to. But really, like, I, I'm just reacting to the things that like actually excite me like while this is happening and doing what I'm doing right now. It's really only just like boss drops. And I'm not even going to lie. Yesterday while I was recording, a single chimera dropped a couple times and I didn't think Think that was enough to like actually have any kind of verbal reaction to it so like you didn't see all the boss drops that came out of yesterday's video and i've been doing this so long like getting a single boss drop isn't as exciting because I i've farmed so many of these at this point but yeah i'm not trying generally to add fluff to the videos like i'm kind of doing right now is what it feels like just kind of adding more to it because in like in preparation for this to be another day of grinding without getting the ring that i'm looking for but i i really just wanted to like quell any idea that something might be wrong if if something crazy happens you'll know about it i'll either put it in a video make a community post if something really crazy happens or like lesser things like oh for some reason my video is taking three extra hours to upload or something i post that stuff in discord when it happens but i i put my entire day into these videos recording and editing them so like while i'm not live streaming you, you're getting like my full effort and time into all these got a namahoos i also think that's part of what makes my videos really unique though is like i'm i'm not a streamer like, i'm not like trying to entertain Tain and have a conversation with chat the entire time that i'm playing so i'm not just like vomiting out words like to, to fill dead air so you really get a concise like overview of what happened during that day of playing path of exile for me which is what i'm like the goal that's what i'm trying to create i know some of you guys really like the longer videos though i, I know a lot of you guys or watching my content while you're at work or maybe even playing the game whatnot but i really hope you guys get more of an idea of a little bit behind the scenes of what's going on here and it's such an rng game that i'm kind of at the whim of whatever the game gives me for the for the most part so i try to keep things moving forward but i feel like grinding this one out to submit the build for the build of the week the pros in that process outweigh the cons even though i'm really tired of farming the black star myself so i'll keep at it i, I know i've added a lot to this video but we'll see what happens i guess that kind of leads me to question you guys like what do you think about the process that i go through to like make these videos like do you prefer the longer videos do you prefer the shorter videos or you're just along for the ride let me know i i really don't talk about much behind the scenes stuff very often so i am actually a little curious incandescent invitation and i caught an altar that gave me four grand embers here i've really been ignoring altars almost every single one that shows up i don't even look at them i'm just kind of blasting the maps looking for like two or three rare enemies make them into big sentinels and the reason i've been playing mainly on this build is i actually get a lot of enjoyment out of making these vol sentinels of dominance with the cool rare mods and things that can come from that and then this build is now closing in on level 98 because this grind has gone on and on and on and here we go i got a soul eater got a bunch of fractured items to check I'm getting the soul eater is just the best though easily like the most enjoyment i get out of playing this build is this right here it's just so good and then watching them just go off on the boss like that. Mm, love it. Nothing good on the fractures. Enslaver, Hydra, uh, Forgotten, The Fortunate. That is 5 out of 12 on that stack. Lyric Imitation. Let's go. Oh, I just got slapped. All right, what do we got? Um, nothing. Okay, go next. The Fortunate. Right on. Implicated Enslavers. Hydra, Phoenix. Giga Soul Eater, time. Get it. 
Phoenix with an incandescent invitation. Duplicated Phoenix. Whoa, killed a red beast. And I deleted all those and the rest I'm not picking up. Nothing good. Getting some kind of fractured dagger that I could use for the cast on crit ice spear build. Something I would love. I'm not going to get my hopes up though. There's a Lycosa Player invitation. Double fizz with extra. Don't get hit. Not the avalanche, not the avalanche, not the avalanche. Come on, just die. No, that's fizz based. Ah, dead. Ah, oh, even the little ones hurt. No. Okay, what did I get? Nothing. No more ley lines. I wound up dropping one in the process, but back to the cemetery. 71 maps. All right, so rolling these maps, someone mentioned that I can use regex to make a search to pick out the mods that I don't want. So I guess like it's poe.re to go here, you pick map modifiers and I guess you can like put minimum quant or pack size in here. I really don't care. I just don't want to run reflect. I don't want no region. I don't want minus max. I don't want less recovery rate. I've been doing the non curse auras. So that's been fine. Anything else I really don't want here. Where's the block one? That's what I need. Here it is. Your chance to block. Those are the things I need. Oh, I guess I copy this string here. Post that in my search box and then everything not highlighted. Interesting. What if I got rid of the exclamation point? Okay, it flips. Yeah, I removed the exclamation point. So I want to reroll the maps now that are highlighted until they're not highlighted. And this will speed this process up a ton. And then maybe I want to look for maps that rolled like double or triple damage mods. But that, that saved so much time doing that instead of like cycling through all the different things so i guess if i would have done it on the other side maps i do want but it's all in this exclamation point right at the beginning of it it makes it don't show these mods or show these mods i guess so that's a nifty little tool for rolling batches of maps well that's something i love to see the boss visible from the entrance of the map rip delirium still got three chaos from it and two ley lines that's a win. Cemetery just has way better pack density than Leyline, without a doubt. The leader! And boss dead. Need to flip these gems, I think. Not the efficacies. I don't need damage over time. I don't need area damage. Okay, I don't need to flip any of those. Void Sphere is ready. Um, okay, so what other gems do I need? I probably need a couple increased durations. Grab those. I need a GMP. Mirage Archer and a knockback. Uh, and I have this meat grinder. I can just slap everything in here. Good. Incandescent invitation. What? It's just linked a Shroud of the Lightless. This guy got in SSF with three abyssal sockets. I didn't even know that was a possibility. That's crazy. Divine Orb. I'm told I need to see this. This guy's looking into the Shroud of the Lightless. What he could do with the uh, three sockets try the light is short by dps there yeah, supposedly there is this tornado shot berserker accuracy stacking build that is just ridiculously like ideal gear mirror jewel that synthesized like all of these jewels are ridiculous like dupe these synthesized jewels Oh no, no, there's one jewel, and this jewel has been mirrored one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times for this build. Three one passive voices, double corrupt mage blood with attack speed multi, corrupted blood reservation efficiency, double corrupted unnatural instinct. Yeah, just a big accuracy stacker. That is disgusting. Calandra's touch to mirror a precursor's emblem. Gives accuracy rating per frenzy charge. Even the double corrupt on the Obscurantis. People playing a different game than I am, for real. <laughs> it was the little guy. I guess I didn't make him big. That's funny. Eradicator. Exalted Orb, let's go. Divine Orb, let's go. Polaric Invitation. I got pretty distracted talking to this guy about this Abyssal Socket thing and trying to figure out how long we've been on friends on PoE, which has been many, many years. So 
I got a little distracted with that. He's one of the oldest members on my friends list. He wants a shout out, EK Telestes. He seems to think that uh, this this build is probably priced in the hundreds, if not thousands, of mirrors with the like crazy double corrupts on the enchanted mage blood, and it, it this build is just absurd. Three one passive voices and the whole nine yards with this one. That, that was a bit of a rabbit hole. Maybe this time I can get my Polaric Devastation. Solar Storm. Come on. I don't have to dodge the meteor things this time. And a Grand Ember. The guy's been on my friends list for many years. So long ago that we, we couldn't even pinpoint how we ended up on each other's friendless lists. Chimera. Duplicated Drox maps. The Twins. Kirk Exalt. That can't win level 20. I need to flip that one. Incandescent Invitation. Another Saffold Spray. Constrictor. Hunter. Duplicated Phoenix. I'm gonna keep the Delirium. And let the big guy go off. And even still, with four stacks, wrecked. Normally I end the Delirium so the stuff drops on the boss while the boss is dying. A rewritten Distant Memory. Cleric Invitation. What you got, Black Star? Astral Avalanche. Okay. I'm in the red. Means it shouldn't hurt too bad. I've reduced cold damage taken. And the drop is another amulet. <laughs> ES recharge rage, fire damage against unique enemies. We go again. I should get my level in this rotation, and then I'm gonna start burning maps to force a bunch of these out. A six link sun plate. I don't think I need that. I'm just bender it. Level 98. Let's go. Definitely didn't imagine this build would make it to level 98, that's for sure. All right, then. So I removed the life. Another jewel socket. What do I got for minions? Life, minion damage, ES for hit with attacks. Works for me. All right, let's get this. I'm taking all the T14 maps, spawn the influence, and then portal out. There it goes, and poof. Just like that. Again. There it goes, and out. I have to kill the boss of this one. Incandescent Invitation. Well, that's unfortunate. It gave me two on the last map I did. I didn't kill the boss. I went into the next one thinking I needed to kill the boss, but it pushed me to 15 and I lost my invitation. I thought it forced you to kill the boss to advance it past 14 and 28. Okay, burn more maps, I guess. I should just plan on killing the boss on 12 regardless, just in case, because I won't know till I leave the map if it gave me one or two ticks on the progress. It's kind of a painful lesson to learn in this specific scenario. Now I'm at 26. Okay, I guess I could I could just pop out and check it. Yeah, 27. So now I know this map killed the boss. Incandescent invitation. I need to store this one because I just gotta throw my count off. 12. Influence spawn 14. So it happened again. So I need to go back in this map and go kill the boss. There we go. Polaric invitation. That is something. No actual avalanche. Okay, stay in the red. And time worn claw. Rip. Go again. Diviner Strongbox. Oh, in a no region map. Okay. Volcosticaro. Get her. There we go. Home. Exceptional Chin. Incandescent Invitation. Enslaver. Ooh, I heard something. Elder Exalted Orb. 12. And again to 14. That's crazy. Valeric Invitation. Astral Avalanche. And dead. Nothing. And dead. For me next i'd love to see this 26 go to 24 though and i get to miss out on the x art i i never ran into this issue before because i killed the boss in every map not this time though incandescent invitation okay so now to t16 maps i have 384 so my thinking here is if i need more maps i'm gonna get a lot of maps from the 214 boss maps so i can i can Cut a lot of these. I'm near capped on ley lines, so I should probably switch back to cemetery. And then I'm gonna add some mesas into this. Actually, it, it might be in my best interest to just like make this mesa. I am going to get a couple maps to drop from time to time. And they're like first hundred enemies I have to kill to get the spawn. I'm on 12. 
So just make sure a map that I can do quickly. A toll. Okay, only 13 that time. But this is what I want the maces for. I need to just rush down a boss. I can do it here. Valeric Invitation Minotaur. And nothing. Go oh, again. The Forgotten Incandescent Invitation. Valeric Invitation. No, not the avalanche. There's increased AoE. Hide behind the pillar. Yay. Okay. Grand Ember. Go again. Incandescent Invitation. Valeric Invitation. And is this the one? No. Incandescent Invitation. It really probably would be better for me to actually kill the bosses, but that takes more time. Duplicated Chimeros and the Scavenger. Valeric Invitation Hunter. Eldric Chaos Orb. Go again. Divine Orb. Ooh, lots of mesas. Okay, two different mesas duplicated, not boss maps with the incandescent. Okay. Alaric Invitation. Astral Avalanche. Grand Eldric Ember. Oh, okay. I think I got one more in me. Incandescent Invitation. Alaric Invitation. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was in the blue. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me the ring. No. Well, that is uh, 12 more that I did. And that's not counting the bonus one. So I went 13 times around the wheel. Let's see, how many maps is that? 13 times 28 times 0.9. Approximately 327 maps. I deleted today trying to get this ring. <gasps> My, my invitations are almost overflowing. Wow. Wow, I almost have two simulacrums as well. I haven't done Delirium all league. I've been doing it as I was running through those maps, rushing the bosses, gotten a lot of Delirium orbs. But that is how it goes. The only thing I can really do is try again on Monday. Because this weekend I will still be doing my first playthrough of Dark Souls 1. I've been itching all week to get back to it and take out Quayleg. That's where I am at with that. And I still will try to do as much Trial the Ancestors as I can over the weekend. How many silver coins did I pull today? 112. Not as many because I was just deleting maps. But almost 1300 silver coins. I have a lot of everything at, the, at this point, so wild ride. We shall continue it next time. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon just below the video or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.